Qualitative or quantitative? Maggie is an avid cookie baker. She likes to categorize the variables in her cooking as either qualitative or quantitative. Can you help her? Well, I sure hope we can help her. Um, below are five different variables, and if we do a brief scan, we're looking at types of cookies, the temperature, weight, a ranking, and the number. Honestly, we're almost able to decide if they're qualitative or quantitative based off these short previews of what they are. When we're looking at types, in this case types of cookies, chocolate chip, sugar cookies, peanut butter, snickerdoodles, what we're really looking at are categories. And anytime we have categories, we want to think of those as qualitative. Okay, we can't quantify them, so they'd be qualitative. Unlike temperature and also weight, those can be quantities. We can actually put a number to those. So those are both quantitative. Now, test takers ranking. This is always tricky. A ranking is subjective, okay? One, hard as a rock. Two, pretty yummy. Three, beyond delicious. These one, two, threes are just arbitrary numbers. I could call them A, B, C. I could say they're 10, 20, and 30. I could give it a one to five scale, a one to 10 scale. So because it's just arbitrary, it's actually qualitative. Okay, this is usually a tricky one because there are numbers in the problem, except for the numbers don't really mean anything. So be careful about that one. And here we have the number of each cookie, 18 chocolate chip cookies, 12 sugar cookies, 15 peanut butter, 24 snickerdoodles, but these numbers actually mean something. So therefore they are quantitative. 